Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and we're on my island called Ovaloto. Today's build is going to be a speed build and a bit of a tutorial of how I built my city core post office. For this video, I redesigned it just a little bit with some 2.0 update items that fit well. I'm also going to try a little bit of a different style of commentary for this build, so let me know how you like it or if you don't like it, I won't be offended. Anyways, let's get into the build. So the post office was one of the first builds on my island and it was completed right after I built my island entrance. I was super inspired by a post that I found on Pinterest, but then I redesigned it a few months later in my own style once I kind of found my own style in the game. Back when I built this, using terraforming to act as walls and ceilings of buildings was kind of the norm even though it definitely isn't really what is common anymore. I honestly, for this build, still really like it, so I kept it. On the second story, I placed a custom design along with the zen fencing to act as the roof. The custom design, if you want it, can be found on screen and also will be in the description box of the video. On the floor of the building, I laid out the wooden in-game path so it would show up on my map and also because the custom design I chose as the flooring looked really nice on top of the wood. This area also took me a while, so it sped up. After the floor was done, I placed items on the section of the roof that was two blocks wide. I kind of imagined that this was a storage shelf for incoming packages, and I tried to diversify the area with different types of boxes and items so it didn't all look the same. As a lot of my builds do, I used backwards bookshelves as the walls of the building. I kind of hate when the cliffside is exposed at all, so I try to cover it up as much as possible. On the far right side with the front facing cliff, I used simple panels with post office box custom codes, which will be on the screen. While I was redesigning this, I added a couple of more bookshelves to the build. I didn't really mind the bookshelf extending past the cliff on the right side, but on the left it just didn't look right to me. Because of this, I decided to extend that cliff by one. While placing furniture inside the post office, I really didn't have much of a plan. I tried to keep items in the same color scheme and I tried to find items that made sense together such as boxes and places for villagers to write letters. I also wanted a little sitting area for whoever was in charge of the post office so I made sure to set aside an area for a desk. I wanted to put this new cart item in the post office but I had no idea where it would look best. 
I left the part of me messing around with its placement in the video so you could kind of gauge my thought process of placing new items and editing builds. This happens a couple times throughout the video because I could not for the life of me decide where it looked best or how it looked best, so I hope you enjoy me messing with it a million times. I thought that the new ABD item looked really cute on the left wall of the post office and putting it here also put it in a really convenient spot for me on my island right next to resident services. While I was looking at reference pictures of my build, I realized that I extended the floor a bit too far on the right side so I edited the area a bit to make it look like it used to. I like to include plants and greenery where I can in builds, especially in city core builds, and adding a couple of bushes in the front just made sense to me. I used two antique bureaus back to back to kind of make a little letter writing station for the villagers and I thought it looked really cute. I think that this vintage dresser added in the 2.0 update looks so much like post office boxes and I thought that this little area to the right of the main building was the perfect place to put it. Once I placed it, I realized that it would make sense to extend the floor underneath it, so I began to do that. In the alleyway to the right of the post office, I added in a fortune cookie cart and a couple of electric scooters to take up some space and make the alleyway feel a little bit more lively. Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I have a few more builds left on this island before I restart, so be sure to look out for those in the next couple of weeks. I also stream almost every day on Twitch, and I've been streaming a lot of Animal Crossing recently, so if you want to interact with me sometime while I'm live, you can drop me a follow there. I also recently made an Instagram, so if you're interested in pictures and short videos of my content, be sure to follow me there. I hope to see you back next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one!